Memphis highlights are brought to you by the legend, Nottingham's number one family friendly hockey pub. Please come visit the Panthers after the Panthers picked up a big win here last time out. Can they back it up on Boxing Day? Rob Lankovic going to get us started for the Panthers. John Curran there wearing the 41 in the white and blue. Panthers wearing Christmas themed Skyline jerseys. Hansen is right here for Hare. Making ground through the middle. Almost fell though. Back with the Panthers in a bit of space here for Talbot to shoot and he's fired it into the top corner. CJ Mott has only played three games. Julian Talbot, he's got more games than that. And the danger is quelled and then almost won again. Kevin Carr might have his first work to do here. Down his left hand side is Johnston and it's put in and forced in. Blaze haven't had a shot on target but he doesn't ever need many. Luke Ferrara one each. Yeah and Luke Ferrara we're talking him off the start there. Leading the whole league in goals which is an amazing feat by him. Final five seconds or so. Hit by Fick and it's saved and swallowed up this time by CJ Mott. Official doing a good job of winning the puck back there for Coventry. It's Kokorin, man in the middle, excellent work from Tetlow. It might find its way in though, oh. but it's just somehow kept out there at that back post. Yeah, I don't know how that stayed out there. Bad bounce off the official. Lakovic and Kokorin will get us underway in the second. Panthers now back in black. Connolly and Rowe, but Johnston takes over, Bears down on Carr's goal and momentum carries into Panthers net minder, but there's no shot really on Carr's net there. It's stopped by Eichstadt there. Okay. Excellent collection from Johnston, he's had a good couple of minutes but Carr has been better and there will be a penalty though. One minute and two seconds on Hare's penalty. Betridge does enough to disrupt. Fick out there as well. Paul Camp tried to cut it back inside and it's found its way in. Might have gone in for Panthers man, but the Blaze have gone 2-1 up. Rowe keeps it alive. Shot there and right in front. Rebounds there and hacked away. That kills the penalty and there is Venus straight on. And it's going to be a break here. Ross Venus has come straight out the penalty box and after some good work by the Panthers has given the Blaze the 3-1 lead. Yeah, and you know what? It always comes back to bite you in that way. A couple of Panthers bodies though. Crowd him out. Paul Camp under pressure from Hare. Hare's nicked it off him. Got a man in the middle. There he is, back door. It's come back for Hare though. Great play by Sam Hare, but also a great job by the defence when they're getting down, making Hare go, take, take the extra little step to get it around him. Ike stand with plenty of space on this left hand side, but then a cross comes in and then the rebound there as well. And then trailing was Paul Camp, fight it wide. Yeah, lucky escape there for the Panthers again. Good, good scoring chance. Pole camp just wider than that. Connolly will bring it forwards. Goes past one oh. and then two. Brian Connolly and then draws the penalty. There it is. Lacken and Ferreira. Nobody there in white. Maybe a chance though after pole camp missed it. Hare closing in, shoots and fires it in. Panthers back in it, 3-2 Sam Hare again. Yeah, great goal there and you thought he was going to take a, uh, either a bad break or a bad play in the defence in there, puck jumps over his stick. And Sam Hare gets in on the two on one. That might get all the way back to Deutsch, it does, he fires it, it's a good block. And then straight through the middle, the pass was broken. Can the Blaze score again? Carr saves it, does he keep it he's out? Got, he's got it, he's got it. Huge <laughs> save there and again, as has happened all night, it kind of goes unnoticed, but Kevin Carr's made three or four huge saves tonight. Breakaways, two on ones. Connolly, though, stops that, although it does find its way back to Coventry man. Ike Stat <laughs> fails on the shot and breaks stick. Hansen might be another break here for the Panthers, and he scored again. Two goals in half a minute for the captain, Sam Hare. It's three each. And again, a little bit of luck there for the Panthers. Broken stick. And they get a two on one. We're talking about Hansen's playmaking ability. He slides that in across to Sam Hare. And you know Sam Hare's not going to miss that. Has to get around one man and will attempt to keep it in the zone. He doesn't. But it will be straight back in there with Fick. Fick towards the net. Rebounds out for Malquist, who lost his footing and went into Mart there. 3.55 to go of regulation. Puts it back down low. 
Corum back to Luke Ferreira and there's a reason he's the leading goal scorer in the league. It's 4-3. Yeah, and what a shot again. We've said this a few times this year, but Luke Ferreira there on his offside when you think there's no chance he can shoot this puck. Off the back and in the air. I think luckily now the Panthers have had... There's Hare, he shoots and he scores! Hat trick for Sam Hare, it's 4-4 with 45 seconds to go. Overtime then, Talbot Kokorin, Hamannik, Kokorin to Bloodoff. Looks like the first opportunity will go to Coventry. Car saves, Puck still alive though and now Hare. Yeah. Hare bears down on the net and he's fired it in! Just talking, the last man to score four was Chris Lawrence. It's Sam Hare, 5-4! Sam Hare, the Mayor of Nottingham, scores his fourth. I don't think anyone's surprised by anything that he does anymore. And that's it, Panthers win. Sam Hare, five, Coventry four.